Paso are trickling downward. And one interesting trend is people are looking for jobs in different fields than they worked before the pandemic. KTSM 90s reporter Shelby Cap is live in downtown El Paso with a look at some of the career changes some El Pasoans are making. El Pasoans are searching for higher paying jobs with more stability, according to Workforce Solutions Borderplex. One El Pasoan I spoke with tells me the extra time he had during the pandemic he used to go back to school, and another says he got out of an industry that was directly impacted by COVID. I was a personal trainer. I was working uh, at a couple different gyms, but all the gyms closed down, so I lost all my clientele. And so now I spent about three months without a job and I finally got a job at Stretch Zone and it's a lot better now, it's much more dependable. Jesus Martinez says he doesn't plan to go back to personal training due to the instability, while another El Pasoan, Arturo Gonzalez, who's a microbiologist, took another route during the pandemic. I guess a bunch of my jobs, you know, would be in a hospital. Uh, I didn't want to risk, you know, myself or my, you know, my family, you know, going back and risking, you know, getting infected with COVID. Going back to school to study radiology, hoping to get into medical school. You know, instead of just staying at home all day, I decided, hey, I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to be, you know, productive. Uh, I'm going to do something. Workforce Solutions Borderplex says Martinez and Gonzalez aren't the only ones looking into new career opportunities. We're seeing a lot of interest in different types of jobs, not the lower paying jobs like that don't make a living wage, like restaurant, hospitality, food serving. And we're seeing more people start shifting into things like, I said, healthcare, information technology, and even human services. The unemployment rate was a 14.8% in April of 2020 and is down to 7.3, but that is a bit higher than a month ago. We're going to see that fluctuate and until the economy bounces back, and that's happening across the country. Workforce Solutions Borderplex says it's those jobs in the restaurant industry and more recently in construction that we're seeing the highest unemployment rates here locally. Reporting live in downtown El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. Right, Shelby, thank you very much. There is